Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to share something that will completely transform how you sell digital products online. Well, I built an AI agent in NNN that sells digital products while you sleep with absolutely no code required. This is a completely hands-off system that handles everything from payment processing to personalized delivery to follow-up email. And this automation takes your digital products, whether they're eBooks, templates, courses, even software, anything digital and creates a 24 seven sales system that works without your involvement. When someone purchases your product, this AI agent will instantly process their payment. It'll also generate a personalized delivery message to that customer. It'll also deliver the exact product that they've purchased because you might have multiple products or courses or digital products that you're selling. It also records the sale in your CRM or let's say Google Sheets or even Airtable. And it also notifies you, let's say in a Slack channel about their purchase, about this customer name. And it also follows up with the customer, let's say every seven days, also sends them an SMS after that. So why does this automation matter so much and why is this so powerful? Well, the average entrepreneur spends three to five hours every single week handling digital products fulfillment and product delivery and even customer communication. And that's over 200 hours per year that you could reclaim with this automation. So this is a super powerful tool that you could sell to business owners, course sellers, online creators, and help automate their business and help them generate more money and also create more lasting and better relationships with their customers. So without further ado, let's dive into this end in end automation and teach you step-by-step -step how to build this out. This entire workflow is also available to copy and paste by joining my free school committee so you can download and instantly replicate this workflow right off the bat. So let me just show you guys a notification trigger that happens in the Slack channels. So whenever a customer has purchased an ebook, a course, a digital product from you or your client, this n and n workflow will send a message to your Slack channel notifying you the amount spent, their phone number, and their name, as well as their email. So as you can see here in the Slack channel, this customer has just spent 4,500 with us. This other customer spent 5,000. This customer spent 4,700. And attached is their emails, their names, their phone numbers, as well as the time and date of when they purchased, as well as what product they purchased. So now let's dive into the workflow and go through step-by-step -step how to actually do this for yourself. So right off the bat, we have a webhook here. Um, to set this up, all you have to do is click on the plus button on the top right-hand corner and type in webhook. All right, all you have to do is click on that and we will configure this webhook right here. You don't want to change anything here. All we're going to do is just copy this URL here and paste it into your own uh, course hosting website. So let's say you host your course or your digital product on Stripe, or let's say it's Teachable, or let's say it's even on WAP. You can copy this webhook and paste it into your own payment processing and your own course hosting website, depending on what software you host your course or put your course on. It could even be on Google Drive. And later in this video, we'll be talking a few different ways on how to actually do this. But most important part of this step is literally just to set the HTTP method to post and all the other things you can just leave just like that. All right, so again, you guys can just copy and paste this into your own workflow by just downloading the file in my free school committee. Now in the next step, we're gonna have an if else statement. So pretty much what this does is literally verifies whether or not the payment has been successful because sometimes your card is declined and the payment doesn't go through. We do not want every single payment, whether that's successful or whether that it's unsuccessful to go through this flow. So we wanna set up a trigger here, which filters out the unsuccessful payments, which will then go through this false route and go through this node here, which is an edit field. So if you wanna set this up yourself, all you're gonna do is click on here for the if statement, we're just gonna click on if. So that's the if statement right there. So in order to set the second node up, all we're gonna do is we're gonna head over and double click on the payment successful node double click on that and we want to put this as json payment status as for the boolean value we want the value to be json.body exclamation mark double equals undefined and we want to set the operation to equal all right because we let's say a payment is unsuccessful we do not want the success because success is in the word unsuccessful that might be categorized as a successful payment which we do not want so we want to set these two values right here to enable us to to really filter out the unsuccessful payments from the successful payments so that's what this note is about and it's probably a very important node and down here we also have the instructions and why each node does what it does and also the context of each node. So if you download this workflow, you guys are able to access this. And now we're gonna head over to the true statement, which is formatting the customer data. 
So whenever a customer has made a purchase, let's say on Stripe or let's say on Teachable or on WAP or on Kajabi, this node is then going to configure their names, their emails, and also the product name, as well as the product ID, as well as the purchase date. So it's able to put all this information in a very categorized form. So then it's then able to feed that into the AI here, well, which is then going to come up with a personalized message to send to the customer via email. So after that customer has made a purchase and after the formatter has formatted the data, we're then going to pass that data on into a get product download link. So this file will be available to download inside the free school community where we have over 2.5K members. Here we go, we have use cases of how to do it and also key benefits of why it's useful as well as the download file available down below. So all you have to do is join the free school community and download the free resource to copy and paste this exact workflow into your own workspace. All right, so we double click on that, we can see a prompt here, which is then going to host all our files. All right, so let's say we host uh, our courses or our digital products on Google Drive, we're then going to put this function here called get product link. So let me expand this right here. So it's basically going to call which product the customer has bought. And then it's going to feed that product into the AI. So it's able to see what product the customer has bought. So then we can send a personalized outreach message to them saying, Hey, congratulations. You bought this $27 product. Congratulations. You bought this $5,000 product. We want to be able to filter these different products out. And that's what this note is here for. And while we're on this topic, we're going to head down to this generate personalized message node. So we're going to double click on that. And as you can see here, we want to make sure we want to connect our open AI account. And nextly, we want to set the resource to text for the operation. You want to set it to complete. And also for the model, we're just going to be using the latest ChatGPT 4.0 model. All right. And now here, guys, we're going to take a look at the prompt here. We're going to expand this. And pretty much what I'm saying is giving it some instructions saying, hey, create a personalized delivery message for the customer name who purchased this product. All right. Include one tip for getting started and express appreciation for the purchase. Now you want to actually change this up depending on your client or your own business. Let's say you're selling the service or selling this automation to a client for $5,000 a month. You want to be changing that to your client's name and also changing the product name as well as their team's name, right? So this is pretty much an input. You guys can copy and paste this and then just change the little bits and bits after that. And down here, you want to go to simplify. And for the options, you want to set it to 500 and 0 0.7. Now for the next node, we're pretty much going to go send the customer a confirmation email saying, Hey, thank you for purchasing our product, right? So this is going to be sent through Gmail. We're going to double click on that in order to, you know, go to the Gmail tab in order to create a Gmail confirmation. We're going to click on add here. We're going to put Gmail and we're going to click on that. And we're going to basically be sending an email, right? So the operation here is going to be send and the resource is going to be sending a message. So in regards to two, which is who are we sending this email to? We just want to kind of exit out of this node and go over to the format customer data here and basically copy this customer email, right? So we're just going to copy that control C or command C go over to send confirmation email and pretty much just paste that into here. So then it's sending that message to that exact same email. All right. And the subject could be congratulations on your order. You could change this up depending on what you want your subject line to be. And for the email type, you wanted to set it to text rather than HTML because you want to set it in text form rather than coding form. Right. So after that, we're then going to record the sale in our CRM. You might be hosting this on, let's say, Airtable. You might be hosting this on Go High Level or even HubSpot. You might have a different CRM software depending on you or your client. But for this example today, we're just going to use Google Sheets. Very simple to set up. We're just going to uh, go over to the top right hand corner again and type in Sheets. And we're just going to click on that. All right. And in order to configure that, we're just going to go into uh, this node here and basically connect it with our account, right? Sheet within document is going to be the resource and operation. We're not going to set it to append. We're actually going to create a contact. All right, because this new customer has been created. So we want to create that contact in Google Sheets. So let's go back to the general logic here. Um, the next step after sending them a confirmation email saying, hey, congratulations on your order. We're then going to send a Slack message just like the demonstration I had earlier on in this video in the introduction part. Um, saying, hey, this is the customer name. This is how much they've spent with us. This is what they've purchased. This is their phone number and this is their email. Pretty much we're going to select this, um, sign in with Google for the Slack account. Resource is going to be message and operation is going to be send. 
We're also gonna be sending the message to a specific channel rather than a specific user. And for the channel, we're just gonna select our channel right here. And for the message type, we're gonna select simple text message. We're then gonna set up a follow-up timer because we wanna always be following up with our leads and customers maybe seven days later, maybe they've consumed the course, maybe they've read the ebook, right? We wanna be able to send them maybe additional offers or promotions that we also have, or your client may have, upselling them or cross-selling them different products so you have an increased average order value. All right, so now we're gonna set a follow-up timer, which means that after this timer has started and after a certain amount of period, we're then gonna then execute the following logic of the flow. And if, if we do not wait the seven days, the flow, the rest of the flow is not gonna execute. So then we're gonna set a timer here. All we're gonna do is go over to the top right-hand corner, click on add, and we're gonna type in wait. So it waits a certain amount of time uh, before the execution of, of the proceeding steps. All right, so we're gonna click on wait here, double click on that node, and we're gonna resume after the time interval, all right? And for the wait amount, we're gonna put double curly brackets, dollar sign, JSON dot wait days with a capital D, and double curly brackets to close off uh, that code. And we're gonna wait until a certain amount of days before this executes. And this is gonna pretty much be a supplementary note to this note. So we wanna be able to put both these notes uh, first before sending a different or, or a follow-up message to that same customer. So in this note here, we're just gonna double click on that. Uh, we also have a prompt here, uh, but for the resource, we wanna set it to text. For the operation, we wanna set it to complete. And for the model, again, we're gonna use GPT 4.0 latest model. And for the prompt here, we're gonna expand this and take a look at what this prompt is. It pretty much says, create a follow-up email for the customer name who purchased this following product uh, seven days ago. Ask how they're enjoying the product, offer one additional tip for getting more value from it, and suggest they reach out if they have any questions. Keep it under 150 words and make it friendly yet professional and sign it from you know your client's name or your name or your team's name or your business name. Uh, just make sure you personalize that, but feel free to copy and paste this prompt. It's pretty much an instruction uh, for GPT-40, for our LLM, to then craft that um, follow-up message, all right? It's then gonna feed this follow-up message to Gmail and send that to the customer. So we're gonna click on uh, this Gmail tab here we're gonna connect our Gmail, which we have already. Again, we're gonna be sending a message. So it's gonna be, so the operation is gonna be send and the resource is gonna be message. And for the two name, we're gonna copy and paste um, pretty much, we're gonna exit out of this and we're gonna go over to the, um, to the customer data here and we're just gonna copy and paste this text here again. All right, so we're gonna go over back here, uh, click on double click on that and just paste that right here. And for the subject line, we're gonna set that to gentle reminder. And that's pretty much what it's gonna say in the email. And after that, it's gonna end this workflow by responding to the workflow, by putting that data, posting that data back to Stripe, back to Teachable, back to Kajabi. So then this will then execute. And then you then get a Slack message in your channel saying, hey, this customer has bought this. They've already received a customer follow-up email and we're pretty much ready to go. So this workflow pretty much automates your sales system for your digital product business 24 seven. So you don't have to manually fulfill, send each customer what they bought, send them a follow-up message, send them an additional follow-up message seven days after, and you don't have to manually go into your CRM to update your new customer. So this is pretty much an all-in-one digital product AI assistant, which is able to help you send messages, you know, collect data, post data, as well as update data and update you on what customers are doing, what, what products they purchase. So it's a very powerful workflow uh, that you can use. This isn't an AI agent. Uh, this is pretty much an end-to-end -end workflow that you can just pretty much copy and paste and sell this for at least $500 to $5,000 every single month because course creators, digital products, influencers, they're all selling digital products. And the good thing about digital products is that most of the revenue that they generate is pure profit because all they're selling is digital, right? It's not e-commerce where you're selling physical products or it's not like an agency where you're selling a service, pretty much is knowledge that they're selling you, so it's pretty much free on their part, so they have really high profit margins. So this is what enables you as an AI agency owner, you can sell these to these businesses by asking, and, and you can ask for a lot more because most of these businesses have lots of profit and a high profit margin. So pretty much all the additional sales that you generate them, so let's say in the follow-up email, you generate them, let's say, additional sale because the customer says, hey, I really liked the product that I just bought, I wanna buy more stuff from you. You know, you can then attribute the additional sale to your business, to your agency, because if you didn't set this up in the first place, 
your client or the business would not have generated that additional sale. So then this gives you the audacity to ask, hey, for every additional sale that we generate you, hey, is it cool that we take 10% of that profit, right? Because since it's mostly profit for you, we're just gonna take 10% of that because if we didn't set this flow up at all, you wouldn't have generated that extra sale. Right, So this is super powerful to sell in 2025 because a lot of digital product owners are looking to automate their schedule, are looking to automate their follow-ups and their systems and their sales systems. So then you can come in to sell them packages and AI systems worth $500 to $5,000 per month. Or you could even just charge them a $5,000 setup fee, which they can just use forever. And this workflow will then go ahead and make them money for years and years to come. So if you're interested in learning how to sell these services to business owners in 2025, then I urge you to click on the link down below to book a call with my team and I, so that we can help you build an AI agency from scratch and learn how to sell these AI infrastructures for anywhere from $500 to $5,000 every single month on autopilot. So without further ado, click on the link down below to book a call with my team and I, and also make sure you join my free school committee to grab this entire template for free so that you can copy and paste this workflow into your own end to end workflow. So if you enjoyed this video so far today, guys, then make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, and even a subscribe. And I'm super excited to see you in the next video.